Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this quick video, you will be able to add an arpeggio and a glissando to the notes that you're inputting to MuseScore 3, and you will be able to hear these effects with uh, the playback controls as well. Let's get started. So you'll wanna have MuseScore open, and in order to find the glissando and arpeggio palette, you will want to go over to the left-hand side of the screen where it says palettes, and you'll look for uh, arpeggio and glissando, and you'll see it's not listed there. So you're, I'm going to go up to add palettes, and then I found the arpeggios and glissandi, and then I will click add. And so now it says that that palette has been added. So now at the top of the palettes, I can see that I've got the arpeggios and glissandi. So that's where you find the effects. So we're gonna need a couple notes here to make sure we can do the effect. So let's go ahead and create a, a glissando going up one octave and make sure if you're putting your notes in, you have your note input mode, which you probably know. And then we've got our two notes that we would like to do a glissando on. So uh, when you do the glissando, you want to make sure that uh, you uh, put it on the note that you want the glissando to start. So I like the wavy glissandos, so I'm going to go ahead and you can see I can drag it to any of the two notes that I put there. And once uh, the note turns blue, that's when you know that that's the note you're putting on. But again, you want to put the glissando on the first note of the glissando. So there we've got the glissando that was added. And now what I'd like to do is I'm just going to do the playback so you can see, hear what it sounds like with the, with the glissando. So you can see it added the glissando to the playback. Now let's say I wanted this note much higher. I can click it and add, let's say I wanted a two octave, two octave glissando. So now I'm gonna try that again. You can hear the glissando effect again. So that's uh, what the glissando sounds like with the playback. Now, if uh, you uh, are not able to do the playback um, with the uh, glissando that you have input, you might be using an earlier version of MuseScore. I'm using MuseScore 3. And so uh, with MuseScore 3, you can see the, uh, the effect is added to the playback uh, controls once you add it. So uh, I recommend you know updating to MuseScore 3 so you can have that. Um, if you're having any other problems with the playback, sometimes just restarting uh, MuseScore will take care of the playback issues you might be having and then adding the effects from there. So that was a glissando going up. And let's say in the next measure, I want a glissando um, going down. I can go ahead and put back in the notes. Let's say I want a, maybe a G down to a G down to maybe a C. How about that? So, and then we're going to do a glissando. Again, you want to put the glissando on the first note that you're going to start the glissando on. So you can see it added the glissando there. Looks like my first glissando got taken away here. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to do the playback so you can hear what this sounds like with two glissandos, one going up, one going down. And you can see that um, when you when I had the half note glissando to a half note glissando, that um, the glissando was nice and even. Um, so uh, depending on you know what note values you're using, um, it might be a faster glissando or a shorter glissando. So there, those are glissandos. Uh, if you want to do an arpeggio, uh, what I will do here is the arpeggios can be found on the same uh, playback uh, in the our palettes on the left hand side. So you want to build a chord so that uh, the arpeggio can be um, used. So I'm gonna do a single note and then I'll do a chord on the next beat here. So now I've got my chord and then an arpeggio, I just uh, go ahead and take the, the arpeggio and then I just uh, drag it on any note of the arpeggio. So, um, so now you've got the arpeggio on that uh, second beat of the third measure. So now let me go ahead and play that measure uh, for you so you can hear what the arpeggio sounds like. So you can see it, it did a, a rolling up arpeggio. They also have a down arpeggio, uh, which you can um, manipulate. Now the arpeggio line, if you want to adjust the line, you can just um, drag these two uh, boxes um, once you select the arpeggio, you can drag the, the arpeggio to be as long as short as you want. You can do the same thing with the glissando too. If you if you click the glissando, you can um, man manipulate where the glissando is, um, you know, in relation to the other notes. 
So that, that shows you how to do the glissando up, glissando down, arpeggio up. Let me do an arpeggio down just so you can see that. So an arpeggio down would be this one here. And then, so yeah, so just if you're not sure which one's which, just go ahead and hover over top uh, of each of the icons and it'll tell you, you know, up arpeggio, down arpeggio, etc. So I will go ahead and uh, again, drag and drop. And so now that should be a, um, a down arpeggio. And you can see, if, I, if you only want to hear one uh, measure for playback, you just select that measure and then hit the playback control from there. So we've got our glissandos um, and our arpeggios. And so that's how you can do it if you're in the same voice. Um, I've noticed in other tutorials, uh, some people are wondering how to do this across voices. So in measure four here, I'll show you how to do that. Um, so what I've found to do, if you want to do a go across voices, let's say I have voice one and I want a quarter note on voice one. And then let's say voice two, I'm gonna click on voice two in the top here. Uh, let's say I want a half note on voice two and let's get a rest in there first. Okay, so rest. And then let's say the glissando is on beat two and I will do a dotted one just to show you the difference. So now I've got voice one and then voice two. And then uh, typically the way you can do this is just uh, go back to voice one and then add the glissando to the first note. Oops, that's arpeggio. So glissando, you can see, and you can see it will automatically add the glissando. It, it understands that you want to go between the first voice and the second voice. So it was able to do that. And then if you listen to uh, the playback controls, um, then you'll be able to hear that it added the glissando. MuseScore 3 is more intuitive than any of the er earlier versions of MuseScore. So you can do a glissando in between, um, you know, uh, voice one and voice two, if you want to do glissandos in between those. And again, if you want to um, hide the rest, just select the rest and then come over here to the element uh, inspector and then just click on, uh, you know, it, uh, unclick visible. So now the rest will be hidden if you want to hide the rests. You now know how to add an arpeggio and a glissando to the notes that you're inputting to Muse Score 3. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer those. I have other MuseScore 3 tutorials. I will put links to those around this video. Please like this and subscribe to my channel. I thank you and I will see you in the next video.